you're muted, Sebastian. Thank you, Amanda, for coordinating this holy encounter and for everything that you are doing in order to spread this manifestation that come from heaven throughout the English speaking world. I really appreciate that. And I know how important is what you are doing. And I really want to acknowledge that. I also thank everyone for joining us to today to give us the opportunity to have this time and space of holiness and encounter with Christ. We came here moved by the spirit in order to receive divine love. We came here to have the experience of the embrace of Mary and the gift of an angel, which are the blessings that Christ wants to give us in any and every holy encounter. Just as a reminder, and for those who are not here, but join us through the video, it's important for me to remember that this is a gift that Christ wants to give us and sometimes in in some specific moment of this holy encounter the heaven is open and descends from heaven our divine mother mary and she comes to embrace each soul that is present here and with her comes a court of angels singing a song of gratitude and praising God for the purity and magnificence of the Immaculate Heart. And after our Divine Mother embraces each soul, then one angel is next to each of us and he remains in contemplation next to us and with us. And that angel will remain with us forever and ever, helping us, guiding us and loving us with holy love. Angels are here to help us to accomplish the will of God for our creation. So thank you for opening your heart to create this space of a bridge in which heaven and earth are one. And because we receive divine love, we receive the universal grace of God and the miracles and the blessings that we receive are not only for us and for our friends and families and our lives, but also for the entire world and the whole creation. We act as a channel of light here as we do in heaven, because we have been created to be channels of light. We also came here to have the experience of letting ourselves be loved, to forget about everything that we believe, to forget about every problem we have or we believe we have, to forget about what we believe about ourselves or others or our lives or God, or the universe, or the world. We take all of that aside and we come here naked of everything in order to be embraced by our Divine Mother who wants to allow us to have the experience of a love that has no beginning or end 
So thank you very much. I will share with you part of the second book of Choose Only Love. And after that, I will invite you to remain in silence for 15 or 20 minutes of full silence in order to be alone with our mother and to listen to her telling us how much she loves us. And maybe you can tell her how much you love her because she is your mother and my mother. And after those 15 or 20 minutes of full silence in which we are with our Divine Mother and with Christ, we will open the session so you can share whatever you feel need to share or questions from your heart related to what we receive here through Choose Only Love. Any question about Choose Only Love is welcome. And I ask you just to be brief in order to allow others to share and also to allow the silence to be what it is. So those who want to enjoy the stillness and the silence can do that. I thank you again very much. Come, be my light. A message from Archangel Raphael in unison with the Court of Angels in the presence of Archangel Gabriel. Prelude. Beloved pure soul, betrothed of the living Christ, love that God is. Today we have come once again as the countless children of the Creator that we are. We have come by the will of the Father to speak to you and to all souls who in one way or another receive the words of love and wisdom of this blessed work. You souls are in the, your souls, I'm sorry, it says you souls are in the design who by your openness of heart welcome this manifestation of heaven. From all eternity, you have been conceived by the divine wisdom as part of a supreme plan. We have come to address you today by means of a helping hand who, as a scribe of heaven, becomes the channel of our angelic voice and serves the cause and effect of heavenly love. Thank you for listening to the voice of Christ, the voice that speaks in all hearts, thirsting of, for love and truth. Christ is love. Only the true love of Christ is heaven. You who are the betrothed of Christ, remember always that the Father has given us a message for each of you who are part of this work, either by reading, lovingly listening, or by sharing your experience and giving expression to the love and beauty of God. We also speak to the many who unknowingly receive the love that flows from us to them through this channel of grace. They are minds that in one way or another seek the, seek the truth, hearts that sincerely yearn for peace, love and concord. Beloved of God, Remember that the word of the Most High is the word of eternal life. It is a living life giving word. It always achieves its purpose. And since it comes from everlasting wisdom, the pure love that you call Abba 
Father, God, or Creator, it is unlimited. It is not subject to time or space. Thus the voice of love always reaches where it, need, it needs to go. The word of God is like the wind. You know not from where it comes or where it goes, but it blows. The wind of love always blows, refreshing arid hearts and removing the debris that conceals the soul's light of truth. Holy ones, we have come in response to the call from you who have asked for a spiritual practice. In the past, you have immersed yourself in the grace of prayer and contemplation. Know now that we are no longer on the path of effort, action, sacrifice, or rituals of form. You no longer need exercises. Now you are in the time of living the truth that you are, in the time of being, in the time of the joy of love. This is the time of Mary, a time of harvest in which you, the sowers, return singing as you bring in the, she in the sheaves, a time of remaining in the radiant presence of the truth that is the supreme end of reason. However, since you have asked for a practice, it will be given. Just as you who ask for a path of devotion and prayer have been given devotion of the union of the three hearts. A single practice is all that we offer for you who are the spouse of perfect love, who already live in the truth. Remember, while truth is always true, not everyone comes to it at the same time. It is always advisable that even though a practice is no longer necessary or even inappropriate, still it may be used until the perfect time for you to release it. Meanwhile, God attends to this particular desire of your soul. Therefore, enjoy the ineffable gift that heaven gives you in this spiritual exercise, which, if understood in spirit and truth, <coughs> contains within itself all true practices of love of the Creator that help us to live in union with the totality of God. An exercise in union. Be still now. Leave the world outside. Leave aside all your worries if you still perceive any. Let all your beliefs go serenely. Immerse yourself in you and in the immeasurable vastness of your soul. Call with all the love of your heart, Jesus, 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 husband of my soul. Say the name three times. Call him what he really, call him what he really is for you. Blessed husband of your soul, feel the name resonate throughout the universe. Become aware of how creation is silent in perfect reverence before the love of loves when you, the betrothed, pronounce the name of your divine spouse. Say the name of the beloved of your soul, then be silent. In peace, Remember that Jesus is the name of the humanized Christ, God made man, your brother, your husband, your divine savior.
Immerse yourself in expectation. Observe all creation as imbued in sacred silence, in the ecstasy of love, truth, and contemplation, in the presence of the husband of love. Feel the union of your heart with the sacred heart of Jesus. Join him. Stay with your beloved. Stay in love. Fulfill yourself in this. Tell him how much you love him, then return to silence. Let love do what it does. Thank you. After having met with Jesus in his most sacred heart, pronounce the name of the mother of the living, who is also your blessed mother. Say to yourself, Mary, 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 mother of God and my mother. Shall I carry on? Yes, you've only got a little bit, haven't you? Yes. So you carry on. Link your heart with the Immaculate Heart of Mary and become a single being in union with the Mother of Love and with Jesus. Become one heart with the Divine Essence. Get lost in Mary. Feel the embrace of tenderness. Feel the warmth of motherhood that springs for your in, from your insides and imbibes your whole being. Feel the sweetness of Mary. Abide in the purity of your heart. Be silent and drink from the fountain of eternal life that springs from the Immaculate Heart. Now, join your soul to Jesus and Mary. Let Christ express himself as what you are here and now. Enjoy yourself in the presence of love. You muted. What are you, Sasha? Yeah. Beloved soul, follow God's voice regardless of what you believe about Jesus or Mary, even if you knew nothing of the greatness of their divine hearts, simply pronounce the names and receive in the depths of your heart the grace of being aware of your union with all that is true. Your soul knows of what we speak. The soul dances, excuse me, the soul sings, dances and vibrates upon hearing names of love. Do this exercise every day if necessary. Cast yourself confidently into the arms of love. Stay in this divine union, the refuge of your soul. Your mind will find the solace and security it seeks in the center of the heart of Jesus and Mary. Your heart will find the calmness, peace, and serenity of spirit for which it longs. Embark with the nectar of pure divine truth that emanates from this union of perfect love. Inhale the beauty of the holy perfume that springs from this sacred union. Become one with the whole. Stay in the presence of love now and always. Thank you so much for reading. I absolutely can't believe how incre incredibly appropriate this is today because um, myself and Sebastian have been talking a while about um, contemplation. And um, so I was just gonna say a, a f just a few words about it. And this chapter, I mean, is so perfect. It just says it all this, be still now leave the world aside, leave aside all your worries, L if you still perceive any, let all your beliefs go serenely, immerse yourself in you and in the immeasurable vastness of your soul. And then the other bit, in, and this bit, immerse yourself in expectation. And, and then when it says, in the ecstasy of love, truth, and contemplation, in the presence of the husband of love, feel the union of your heart with the sacred heart of Jesus. 
join him, stay with your beloved, stay in love, fulfill yourself in him, in this, tell him how much you love him, then return to silence and let love do what it does. And the reason that, that I mean, that is so perfect is because we were talking about the difference between meditation and contemplation. And because we're about to go into the silence, it, it was just because, um, you know, when it said before in that bit as well, we don't need any practices uh, because we don't, you see, because if, if you're meditating, let's say you use a mantra, um, some kind of visualization exercise, uh, breathing, any of these things, um, what that does is, yes, it can be very great in quietening the mind, but really all that's doing is putting you in a state. It's just another state, you know, like this is alpha state and then you go, you could go into a beta state, but actually sometimes that calm mind and relaxed state actually separates you from the, the communion you see. So this is why this chapter is so great. And I'm so grateful that it, it's amazing because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best orator in the world, the best speaker in the world, but this just says it all. And that's all I wanted to say that, we, that when we're in the silence, um, we don't need any practice. All we need is just to close our eyes with the intention, the, even the most subtlest intention. And, the, and then we even drop that intention of just being open to that, it, it, spirit and just immersing ourselves in it or or as Sebastian has said you just tell Mary how much you love her and and, and then just leave it don't worry whether you've got a busy mind because God hasn't got a busy mind you know so it's like you're not trying to meditate God is almost meditating you you know so, so you see when you just kind of close your eyes there's there's nothing to achieve it's just it's a kind of um, somebody once said, I thought this was really good. It's almost like you're listening for a symphony, like, you know, the symphony is about to start and there you are at the concert, concert hall and you're just kind of in that state of listening, but you're not looking for anything. You, it, you know, you're not looking for any result. It's just really just everything that chapter says. So I, I think that, it, you know, it's great for us all to just read that, that part again and again and again. So, and I might, I might just, refer to what I've just said, you know, just in some other holy encounters as well, because um, because different people attend and, you know, so I, I hope you don't mind me say, saying that because um, uh, it's just uh, it's just that difference between, you know, it not being a meditation and we don't need exercises. So so um, I don't know if you'd like to say something else about that, Sebastian, because that's what we were talking about, wasn't it? And thank you very much, indeed. <laughs> thank you for sharing that. I think it's it was very clear, and the, this chapter is talking about that, so um, there's nothing else to say except for thank you and for enjoying who you are. We are in the presence of our mother, and she doesn't care about whether we practice or not, we are prepared or not, because we are her sons and daughters. And when we love someone, we trust in that person and we don't try to be edited. We just try to be spontaneous as we are. So I invite you to enjoy the experience of being accepted as you are now, no matter how you believe you are. This is the only thing that is important here, to embrace your mother and to let yourself be embraced by her. I love you very much. Thank you, Sebastian. So we'll just, we'll just have silence for about 15 minutes. I enjoyed it, thank you. Thank you.
So you can, you know, please by all means continue in the silence or if there's anything you want to ask or share an experience um, briefly, that would always be lovely to hear from you. Thank you.
Okay, everybody, it's time for the for the break. Um, I, I'm just going to admit Sebastian Bando, actually. <laughs> Let him know. Uh, Sebastian, hello. <laughs> you've joined. You've joined us just in time for the break. So <laughs> it's lovely to see you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> So we'll just have a, a break for about six or seven minutes and um, we'll come back. So bye for, bye for now, everyone. Just, just uh, mute your camera and video. That's all you need to do. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I just want to say to you, Sebastian, that I'm so grateful that you're here uh, because you know, it's quite amazing, this session. It's so unique because, I mean, what makes it unique really is, is, is you, your presence, because, you know, we're, we're reading your books and, not, you know, normally when we read books, whether it's A, a Course in Miracles, A Course in Love, The Way of Mastery, all these books, wonderful books, but the, the, the author or receiver, you know, isn't present or they've passed on, but to actually have you here is absolutely immense. And it's, I, I just can never, I'm so grateful for it. And, and, and also it, it doesn't make me want to bring in any other, you know, teaching while I'm here present with you. I just want to soak up everything that you radiate talk about and everything that is choose only love it's utterly unique and it's so wonderful you know that you're here with us every week and it really is just absolutely amazing um so thank you very 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 much it's incredible yeah thank you Thank you. Um, thank all of you for being here. It's a true blessing for me. Um, I receive miracles. It is given to me to see how the, the heaven is open and the presence of our Divine Mother and the gift of an angel that we receive and the call of angel. And I know the grace that I receive and we all receive is because of your presence as well. Um, so thank all of you for this true blessing. It's an honor, it's definitely an honor for me. Hello everyone. Um, what during the um, silence before? In fact, I was just think I was just in gratitude of knowing Amanda because it was her who introduced me to Sebastian. And if it wasn't for Amanda, I probably wouldn't have known because I wasn't coming from a place of love at that point. And in fact, about two years ago, I was completely burnt out and depleted of love and I, I didn't know what direction I was going in and I, I'm sure it's Amanda that picked up on that and knew and uh, invited me to look at the book and I, I, got, I got it and read it and it wasn't long after that that I started to feel um, something different and I didn't know what it was because I, as I say, I hadn't come from any religious background. Um, I been, hadn't been brought up that way. I just live life normally <laughs> in doing stuff and thinking that I had to do everything. Um, but the book that Choose Only Love started working its magic with me. And before I knew it, I was feeling completely different. Um, 
and it's just gone on from there really all all year uh, through reading the books coming to the encounters um, I've just been completely enveloped in it and it's grown and grown and when I was when I was at the Holy Encounter retreat last weekend um, on the Sunday I felt a huge overload of love and emotion I couldn't I was it made me cry and I couldn't speak and I wanted to say something um, but actually it was a realization that love never ends and you can never run out and no matter how much you give you're going to get it back and that was fantastic because I think I'd just given all mine away before and I didn't realize you could just ask for more and since I've learned to commune with God I get it every day um, and I get more than I need and, and I can pass it on and, and I just feel like a different person and I'm I'm forever grateful for both Amanda and Sebastian for that. And thank you for opening my eyes to it. Thank you so much, Julie. <laughs> I felt the same way when I came across Choose Only Love. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julie, for expressing your love. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Stephanie. I'd like to share. Oh, hi, Stephanie. Um, Lovely. Yeah. Hey, hi, Amanda. Um, I've had two miracles in about three days. And briefly, the first one was when I saw, I saw that when um, my father attacked me, it wasn't me. It was his fear he was attacking. And then I thought, oh, wow on a much, much, much smaller level, when I'm correcting my own son, I'm attacking my own fear. And when I could own that and give it up, I could see that I was attacking Christ. And I felt so euphoric and so warm and loving. I thought, I will never forget this. I'm always talking to Christ. <laughs> the very next day, I judged my girlfriend. <laughs> I thought I was so righteous and she had been so incorrect. And, and um, I was just being honest, telling her how I felt I wasn't attacking her. <laughs> and then I hung up and a few hours later I realized you just did the same thing you thought you would never forget yesterday. So um, I called her back and I said, I just attacked Christ. and. She got it. She laughed with me, and I said, I felt so grandiose, like I'm never going to forget this connection. And I forgot it one day later, so there goes my pride. But I got to get it again, and, uh, and I said, if I forget, I'm calling you, and you can say your serve. And we could laugh, and it's just like all of that was so miraculous. And um, I'm complete. Thank you very much for sharing. I love that, Stephanie. Thank you.
Hi, this is Paula. <clears throat> Hi, Paula. Hello. Uh, I came on this call with a heavy heart. Uh, kind of woke this morning with a heavy heart. Been talking to Jesus, Mary, Holy Spirit all day, asking for the guidance, the love. But my heart hurt, hurts, and what I'm finding you know, in this human experience, members of my family, friends, I, I feel them, I feel them so strongly. I feel their sorrow, I feel it. I feel their, their confusion, their love, the lack of whatever. And I have this heavy, heavy feeling and in my meditation, which I do in the mornings, all I could do is cry, 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 because my heart was hurting. And I guess, so my struggle was in my early, I had, before I come on this call, it was about two or three other calls I listened to. And in each call, I was saying, Jesus, Mary, please, Holy Spirit, lift this heaviness from my heart. Why am I closing my heart and not opening my heart? What am I holding within that's not allowing me to open my heart and let the truth come in? And as I'm sitting here with the, in these moments of quiet and stillness. I used the exercises, what was said, and I kept saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mother Mary, Mother Mother. So I feel myself somewhat relaxing. It's the only way I can say because I just feel so unsettled. And I am grateful for you, Sebastian for those words, the words in the book, reminding me how much I am loved and how much I am capable of loving. And I know there's a resistance and that's okay because that tells me that there's something that I need to look at and know the truth. But I've learned through the course of love, through the course of miracles, when the resistance gets the strongest is when I'm going to make my greatest strides. And then I'm going to know. So I'm going to overcome this because I'm not alone. I have Jesus. I have Mary. I have God. I have the Holy Spirit. I have all the angels, Gabriel, Michael, Jermaine, all of them on my side. So I'm okay. And if I can find a moment to smile and even to find laughter, and I did during the course of the day to laugh, it's okay. So thank you, Sebastian. Thank you for your words and this choose only love. So I'm gonna to continue to make that choice. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Paula, for being here um, for your commitment with the light. You come every week and you are receiving a lot. You are receiving a lot. The heaven knows everything. So every time that we come to join Christ, we receive the grace. And thank you for being here every week, embracing, embracing the grace and 
healing the world. I thank you very much. We live in a world in which we are called to do many things, but the only important thing is to be with Christ, because that's the only thing that our spirit wants. So every time that we come to the encounter with him, with our Divine Mother, with our Divine Father, We receive and give miracles. There are no words to express the magnitude and the holiness of what happens in every encounter with Christ. All our mother wants from us is to join her, to be with her as much as we can. So thank you for being here. In fact, in one minute or one second of union with Christ, we can receive more than what we can learn in years and years of reading books. There are no book or person or circumstance in, in, in the world that uh, can be greater and beyond the wisdom of Christ. So all we need is to be with him. And this is what we are doing here. And this is how the new world is going to be. The new earthly kingdom is going to be based on souls that are just in union with Christ. And from that union, we'll be living in harmony with, with what they are. So I thank you for giving the example to others about what is important. There is only one thing that is important, and that is to be united with Christ, because that's what you are, at what we are, and it is in that union, in that direct relationship with God, where we are, we, who we truly are, and we don't need anything else than that. He can give us everything that we need and more, so he is just waiting for us to abandon ourselves to his heart or to her heart, to the heart of our Immaculate Mother Mary. So thank you for showing the way to heaven. Thank you very much. And Sebastian and Paula and Amanda joining with what Paula said. I awoke this morning realizing that I couldn't feel like telling Mary I loved her or telling Jesus I loved him. And I tried smiling. And I'm picking up on the words of Paula used, smiling. But I was thinking about Sebastian having been told by either Jesus or Mary, I forget whom, smile more. And there's an energy to his smile that says, I love you. And it really is the beauty of, in the Course in Miracles, Lesson 189, which where I was led to open myself 
to feeling the love of God within me now. And that's all I needed to, I needed to, 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 to heal a wound from loving parents that happened when I was about four years old, that I'm at 90, I'm still opening the experience for an, a larger healing. And it is simply to feel the love of God within me, to feel, to feel Christ loves us, God loves us. And thank you, Paula. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm in. Thank you, Joe, for, for your love. It is true. The only thing we need is love. That's the only thing we need. The divine love. And it's the only thing that we always receive. What we are doing here is to create a space in which we can be aware of that and to feel it, as you said, and to be with, embra embraced by, by that love. So we, we have the experience of being at the top of the mountain and then we can keep this experience and share this love with, with the world. So thank you very much. Wow, I'm, I, I'm just looking at you all, John and Laurie and Joe and Julie and Sebastian and Mark and Paula, Karen and Calvin and Anya and Jeanette and Sebastian and Stephanie. And I just feel so amazed to be with you all. You are like a bouquet of flowers, but not just flowers, because you're all glittering so much. It's incredible. It just gets better, this holy encounter. So thank you all for coming. And if you've got the email, we, we, because um, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, they're both on Thursdays, aren't they? So we, we've made it um, Tuesday. So this coming Tuesday and the Tuesday after. Um, at the same time, you know, we'll be having the Holy Encounter. So, uh, so it's a bit of a different, it's a different day, but I hope you can, hope you can join. And um, I just want to thank you all for coming so much. because It's been a really, well, it's been a remarkable Holy Encounter. Absolutely oh, fantastic. So thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much and thanks uh, everyone for being here. Uh, I hope we can join again on Tuesday. And if I don't see any one of you, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I wish you a happy Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas to those I might not see on Tuesday. Oh. I'll be here. Yeah. And let us not forget Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, absolutely. Happy. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Sebastian and Amanda. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Love to you all. God bless. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you.